What is up my dudes, my name is Dara but you can call me Pac-Man and welcome back to another video. So today I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm just going to get straight to the fucking point. Um, basically due to time constraints of when the Challenge Elite qualifications actually start, um, the challenge that I set myself four months ago which was to go from casual to professional in under six months time, um, I won't be able to complete that challenge. So basically, to get into the Rainbow Six um, Pro League, you must first qualify for Challenger League. Um, if, you, if you are one of the six or seven teams that qualify for Challenger League, you play a league format um, over a couple of months, and then um, the top two teams from Challenger League will go into a playoffs against the, top two, uh, the, sorry, the bottom two teams from Pro League um, to try and secure their spot in next season's Pro League. What I didn't know at the beginning of this challenge was the actual timelines of these tournaments. Um, they're still yet to be announced, but from everything I can gather, Challenger League qualifications for A and Z should be in uh, February this year, um, which is the time, the end of the time limit on my on my challenge itself. So unfortunately, um, the the highest standard that I can get to within six months of playing is Challenger League. So yes, we have failed the challenge, but that does not mean that we're gonna quit. It just means that I'm gonna have to change the parameters around a little bit. Originally, like I said before, the, the idea was to actually get into Pro League, but like I've mentioned, I can't just literally due to time, I cannot. Um, so now I'm gonna change the parameters of the challenge to actually try and reach Challenger League within six months. Um, it's the best that we can do. I don't wanna give up on this. And I'm not saying that once I complete this challenge of getting to Challenger League, um, if I can, sorry, it's still going to be a lot of hard work, but if I can make it to Challenger League, um, it's not to say that I'll be stopping whatsoever. I'm going to keep working my ass off. I'm going to keep showing you guys the journey and that uh, we're going to qualify from Challenger League and make it into Pro League. Now, there's one more thing that I wanted to bring up, and um, it's another way that I feel like I might have failed the challenge or failed you guys specifically. Um, a lot of you guys will probably have noticed that over the last few weeks, I haven't been posting anywhere near as frequently um, onto my YouTube. I haven't been streaming as much as I used to, and um, I haven't probably been replying to as many comments as I used to. So the reason that this ha this is happening is because it all really started when I decided to leave um, WND Windigo um, in search for a stronger team. So I thought it would be a relatively quick and fast process. It was not. Um, I, I, it's, it was, I said this in a previous video, but it was a whole lot of time just practicing, um, uh, trialing with different teams and speaking to different organizational owners and um, everything like that. So it, it was just, it wasn't stuff that I could stream. And because I wasn't streaming as much, um, there wasn't as much content that I could um, show you guys. You know, there wasn't as much stuff that I could actually put up on here. But look, I'm gonna be completely honest when I say there is no excuse for me not showing you guys that side of the journey. Maybe the content needed to change. Maybe it wasn't, it shouldn't have been as, or I, maybe I couldn't post as much Rainbow Six Siege specific content, but I could have vlogged more. I could have shown you guys the journey. I could have taken you with me along that. Um, that part of it, because that is part of it, that was something that I did have to go through um, in order to reach my goals. So for, for neglecting to show you guys that side of the story, um, I am sorry. But in brighter news, my financial situation is solved. Um, I did manage to land myself a job, part-time hours, which is still gonna allow me to keep showing you guys this journey. And um, yeah, no more money issues. So that's always a positive. Another thing is that I've also been spending a whole lot of time recently researching content production in general and kind of like um, storytelling and stuff like that. Um, which is something that I struggled with. Again, this is kind of stuff that I've already said before, but like playing is so easy for me. I will scrim every night happily. I will watch VODs, I will do everything like that, but content production and actually storytelling and editing and showing you guys this journey along the way is something that I did struggle with, or something that I've actually been struggling with more than I thought I would initially. So. What I've done over the last few weeks is just really double down on research. I've been buying books, reading books, um, believe it or not, watch, reading, listening to audio books and just really trying to wrap my head around what it, what it takes to actually tell a story and um, you know, run a channel. So with that in mind, guys, I'm really happy to announce that starting on the 3rd of January, um, just over a, a week away, I'm going to be posting five days a week on YouTube every single weekday, um, videos consisting of uh, breakdown and analysis of my own highlights and gameplays including deaths that we can learn and grow together 
um, a question and answer session where I'll be answering any questions that you guys have um, in relation to the challenge itself and keep you guys informed. Tutorials about stuff that I've learned along the way. I've already started building a bunch of them. I've got scripts written for a bunch of them, so that's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm gonna be doing general highlight videos. I'm gonna be doing tournament highlights, milestones, and vlog updates um, to really show you guys what's actually going on in my life and how this whole looks, how what it, what it takes to, to do this. And that's just for YouTube. So on top of this, I will also be posting out to Instagram with daily content showing you the behind the scenes footage of what it actually takes um, and what it looks like to, to build a pro gaming career, um, both in terms of building a YouTube channel and editing, plus the actual grind that it takes each each day, day in, day out, and you know what that really looks like just from my perspective, from my eyes. So um, Instagram's back, baby. But that is not all, my dudes. I will also be posting out original content on Facebook, um, so in the form of video and written post, um, different different types of content. Obviously, each platform is different, so you have to kind of tailor it to that platform. But I'm going to be doing all of this so that I can literally unfold my life for you guys, document everything, and show you guys what it is to, to try and make this journey, and um, you know, and see if it's the journey that you you maybe want to take someday. Um, so yeah. It's also worth mentioning that my stream schedule is gonna become a lot more streamlined again. Once I get my first roster, um, I'm gonna be on set shifts with my new work, so I'll know exactly what days that I can stream. It will most likely be that I'm streaming five to six days per week. Um, a couple of days I won't probably be able to stream because of the fact that I'll be working all day and then coming home and I'll have to hop straight into screens, which I can't actually show you guys. So most likely five to six days per week streaming. Uh, the actual stream schedule itself will be announced sometime next week. I am 100% dedicated to showing you guys this journey and this is how I'm going to do it. So if you haven't already, be sure to follow all the social medias, the link is down below. Turn on notifications for this channel itself so that you don't miss any content whatsoever. Smash that like button and get excited because the real journey starts now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I will see you on the next one, peace.